After an eight-month-long industrial action by lecturers in most of Nigeria's public universities, the Academic Staff Union of University has eventually called off its strike. The lecturers, who are agitating for better remuneration, improved facilities, and for the federal government to redeem the pledge made in the past, started the strike in February 14 this year. New Centre's Bernard Akede has been following the story and compiled this report. Walkways are still very scanty and the classrooms empty and dusty. But this may soon change. After exactly eight months of being on strike, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has called off its strike with conditions. Following a lengthy National Executive Council meeting that stretched from the night of October the 13th into the early hours of the 14th, the union decided to put a halt to its industrial action. In a press release dated 13th October 2022, the union appreciated the commendable efforts of the leadership of the House of Representatives and other patriotic Nigerians who waded into the matter, but noted with regret that the issues in dispute are yet to be satisfactorily addressed. Though the press release instructed all members of ASU to resume all services hitherto withdrawn with effect from 12.01 a.m. on Friday, 14th October 2022, little or nothing was ongoing on the campus of the University of Lagos. A cross-section of students New Central had run into explained how the strike had affected them and what they expect following the latest development. I don't think it's a new thing. Uh, it's something that we've been experiencing and it, it, is a, no, it is a culture now for us and honestly it's something that should be shameful. Though for me it has not really been easy because it is very difficult to actually navigate yourself when you have a lingering, a, a lingering assignment uh, that you have to do like the academic. So you can't really go out fully, you can't really establish yourself because in one part of your mind you'll be, you, you will have the fear that what if strike is being sus suspended. Long strike is something that is not so new to us. For me personally, I have learned from the previous, you know, pandemic era and all of that. So I just continued from the things I started. Started doing my freelancing, doing my job. So I really didn't feel the strike. It was just like a, a necessary break for me to set up my business and do the things I was doing. So I really didn't miss anything in school. So what except for the assignment and the classes that we're supposed to go through. What I will probably expect is for the school management to find a way to run a kind of fast track program because we have lost a lot of years already. Hopefully in a few weeks or maybe even a few days, this campus behind me, like many others across Nigeria, will once again be buzzing with academic activities. Students will resume the academic session and the lecturers will find a way to quickly hurry the programs so that they can graduate as at when due. But the question to be asked is, who exactly are the victims in this showdown between the federal government and the lecturers? Bernard Akede, reporting for News Central.